friends today i am going to tell you the story charlie and the chocolate factory written by roll thal now let's start with the story once upon a time there lived a boy named charlie charlie was born in a poor family but he was a good boy one day charlie's grandfather explained him about the company he worked in and that is a chocolate factory The next day when Charlie woke up he went out and to his surprise he saw some posters When he saw it it was the same factory which his father grandfather had explained him about last night The posters said they are providing five golden tickets inside the Unoka chocolate to five children and they will be able to visit the factory which had been closed for years now now charlie wants to get the golden ticket because he wants he want to go and visit the factory which his grandfather had worked in first one to get the golden ticket was a fat boy who ate so much chocolate both second and third were girls but one was a really rude one and the other was black belt in taekwondo she was also rude and fourth was a boy who loved video games charlie's parents also wanted him to visit the factory so they got him one bonoko chocolate when he opened it but he didn't get the golden ticket That night Charlie's grandfather gave him another 10 dollar which he had saved. Now when Charlie buys another chocolate but unfortunately he didn't get the golden ticket even this time. When Charlie was wandering through the street sadly he found a 10 dollar to his happiness. He went to the store and bought one more Ono cut ticket and gave a last try. When he opened it, to his surprise, he got the golden ticket. Many people saw him having the golden ticket in his hand and persuaded him to give them the golden ticket in return of that money. But he didn't agree and ran home. In his home, he gave it to his father, and as his father read it, it said. that it is tomorrow and a pa- parent guardian has to go with him so the grandfather who had er- early worked in the chocolate factory decided that he is going to go with charlie the next day charlie goes with his grandfather to the chocolate factory over there he meets the other four people also after some time they see mr wonaka he was the owner of the factory now he takes all the five children into the factory he took all the five children who had the golden ticket and and took them for a factory tour the fat boy finds a chocolate waterfall in the factory so when he goes and t- licks it Mr Wonoka notices it and tells it's not supposed to be touched by human hands but before he could finish the boy fell into it and was sucked by the pipe his mother was really worried and so Mr Wonoka sent one of his helpers with her and help her to get the child back after this Mr Wonoka takes the rest four children to the chewing gum factory over there a girl who was good at taekwondo saw it and she took one chewing gum and was about to eat it mr onoka said don't eat it but she didn't mind and she just ate it all up but after she did it her, she turned full blue and become became so fat like a balloon it becomes very funny now mr onoka sent another servant to recover her 
Now they go to the nut cracking section with the rest of the child. Over there, there are so many squirrels. The girl who is really mean wanted a squirrel, but Mr. Onoka didn't allow her. So she just thought of going into and picking herself one squirrel. So she went in, jumping over the rope and took one squirrel. But the squirrels got angry and they took her and threw her into the garbage bin. Now Mr. Onoka had sent another servant to get her out. After all the all of them had gone, now only the two boys were left. Over there, Mr. Onoka tells if Television can be made out of metal. Why can't they be made out of chocolate? So I tried of making one and it was successful. So he showed them a television made out of chocolate. Now Mr. Wanoka shows the children. He keeps a really giant chocolate bar in a plate and presses a button. Suddenly, the chocolate bar disappears and appears in front of the television. The boy who is really interested in video games tells it's just an image. But then, Mr. Wonka asks Charlie to pick it up. And yes, Charlie did pick it up. He was able to get it out. So, when the boy sees it, he tells are you crazy and he jumps on the same plate he presses the button and he disappears and appears in front of the television when his father picks him out but he was really really small when mr Wonoka looks back he sees only charlie left over he asks are all the rest of the people gone he was really shocked. Chari replaced. Yes. Then Mr. Wonka now takes him to the elevator and presses the button and out. Charlie asks, what does this button mean? Mr. Wonka says, up and out means you can go to your home in this. But Charlie asks, do you have a connection line even to my home? Mr. Wonka says no, but Charlie asks how, then how will I go home in this elevator? Mr. Wonka says, just wait and watch. And they were almost going to crash on the buildings, but Mr. Wonka pressed a button, fly, and the elevator flew and reached Charlie's house. He says, now you reached your home. When he opened his eyes, he was inside his home. Now Mr. Wonka told he had a surprise and that was he is offering Charlie the whole chocolate factory. But Charlie refused his offer because he wanted to stay with his family and if he owns that, he has to stay there. Now, Mr. Wonka says, I understand your problem, but I can also solve it. I can rebuild your same house inside my chocolate factory and you and your family can live there. Chai was really excited to hear this and he agreed to the offer. Now, Charlie is living inside his chocolate factory happily. Wow, it's really exciting even to imagine. Friends, the story ends here. Bye-bye. See you in the next story. Happy learning.